Number 49, calculate the density of Freon-12, which is CF2Cl2, at 30.0 degrees Celsius and 0.954 atm. Okie dokie. Remember, with the gas chapter, the easiest thing is just listing everything out that you got and what you want, and then pick a formula from there. So we want to calculate the density, so I'm going to call that D. Now, some professors might call it a row, which is like this funky little P. It's the same thing. I like to use D, D for density, right? So D equals question mark. They give us the compound, okay, 30 degrees Celsius, so that's a temperature. So I get 30.0 degrees Celsius. And I have a temp uh, pressure here. So 0 0.954 atm. And that's basically it. So we don't have any sets here. So we're not going to be using the combined gas equation. And we're keying in on this density. If they're asking for a density and you're using or you're talking about gases, chances are you're going to use a derivation of PV equals NRT, which is this formula. It's PMM equals DRT. The other one was PV equals NRT. Now we just exchange the V for MM and the N for the D. Now we still have the R value here. So that's the constant number. 0 0.0821 is what I like to use and still has the same units. ATM times liter over mole times Kelvin. So when we use this formula, the P, the pressure, still has to be in ATM. So we're good for that. They gave it to us in ATM, so check. MM is a new thing. MM is one variable. This is molar mass. And this comes from the actual compound. Oh, that's why they gave me the compound. So if I have CF2, Cl2, how would we find a molar mass? Remember, a molar mass is gram per mole, and we just find that on the periodic table. You just got to calculate, you know, the molar mass. We have two fluorines, two chlorines, and one carbon, so just add them up. So let's see. I got 12.01 for the carbon plus 19 times 2 for the fluorine, and then 35.45. Uh, times 2 for the chlorine. <clears throat> and I get 120.91 gram per mole. And this is going to be the mm. So we're good with this one. The density is D. And that's what we're trying to solve for. So I'm going to just highlight this one. The R is that constant number, and remember the temperature, T, it has to be in Kelvin, right? So that doesn't change. But uh-oh, they gave it to us in Celsius, so always convert first before you use the formula. So I just got to go into Kelvin. We know that conversion, right? From Celsius to Kelvin, all we got to do is just plus 273. If you want to be more specific, you could plus 273.15, but I think this will, you know, do its justice. 30 plus 273, I get 303. Okay, and now I have my Kelvin. So we're all ready to plug everything in, right? I got my R value and my T value solving for D. So let's go for it. 0 0.954. My molar mass now, we just found that out, was 120. 0.91, and this equals the density, so I'm just going to label that as x, you can label it as d, whatever you want to do, times by the r value, 0 0.0821, and then times by the new temperature in Kelvin, 303. Let's just solve for x, you can get this to be one number, and this to be num one number, but I like to plug all this into the calculator at once, because I try not to round until the very end. So I'm going to just divide by 0 0.0821 and also by the 303. So what I do on that side, I got to do on this side. So I'm going to divide by 0 0.0821 and also by the 303. 
If that's the case, this goes bye-bye, this goes bye-bye, and we're only left with the x value. So x equals 0.954 times 120.91 divided by 0 0.0821, then divide again by 303. And now I look back and I see that I have three sig figs. So my answer should have three sig figs. Does anybody really care? No, <laughs> but just in case, you know, we still got to put that into good practice. So 4.64, and now the units for the density, remember it's the density is always a mass divided by a volume. The mass in this formula was in the molar mass, it's grams. So this would always be G. And then if you search for the volume in this formula, you'll find it in the R value, right? The R value still has a liter. So this would be grams per liter, not grams per mil. And that's your density. So it's 4.64 grams per liter. That's it, guys. Hope for this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I hope you guys are having a great day out there. All right? Uh, stay safe. And yeah, I will see you all later. Have an awesome day. Bye.